Honor is known to be bringing devices at many different price range and one of the phones that are brought at a really rock bottom price is the Honor B and this is GK from techpp.com giving out the first impressions of the Honor B. So let's have a look. This is a 4.5 inch uh, LCD screen that comes at a very strange re resolution of 854 into 480 so not so great and uh, this is powered by a Spectrum SC7731 quad core processor clocking at 1.2 gigahertz and also has uh, 8 gigabits of uh, uh, you know internal memory that can also exp be expanded to 32 GB and also have, comes with a 1 GB RAM. In terms of um, the other uh, things about this phone is pretty basic. The build quality looks okay, decent, nothing much to complain about. Has uh, the power rocker here along with the volume rocker at the top and uh, pretty good, uh, good tactile feedback. Has both the 3.5mm jack and uh, port for uh, charging the via the USB cable. Nothing on the other end and uh, on the back it has the speaker grill at the bottom and has an 8 megapixel camera coming up with a dual LED flash. On the front it has a 2 megapixel camera and uh, let's open up to see the battery. So this is the Honor B. This is again uh, of pretty basic plastic build. All right, this is interesting. We see the Huawei branding here and uh, it's sold as Honor, but here we see the Huawei branding. And uh, to make it more interesting, we have the Huawei Y541, the modern number. So pretty interesting. Uh, in terms of other aspects of the phone, we have the dual SIM slots here that can take um, uh, the 3G SIM and uh, option to expand memory up to 32 gigs so that, that is all about the phone let's boot this up the glass has no protection no gorilla glass or anything of that sort here we see the honor branding again very interesting why you know they put the huawei branding out there so this is powered by a 1750 mah battery and uh, looking at the pixel density and the sort of screen it should probably easily last up to a day and this comes with a lightened version or a toned down version of the Emotion uh, UI built off Android KitKat. So those are the colorful icons that you would usually see in the Emotion UI. No app drawer again. So in terms of the storage, though it is uh, 8, gigab uh, 8 GB of internal memory, only 5.14 GB is available to the user, so that's pretty low. So that's the Android KitKat. And in terms of uh, the buttons here, uh, they have the capacitive buttons, but they do not light up. Uh, pretty, pretty much norm when you're going with the basic phones. So the kind of OS that we have here and this 1GB RAM, do expect um, you know lags here and there, but overall you wouldn't have to complain. And um, you know this is not a device to push it towards uh, you know high-end gaming or high-end multimedia and things like that. So overall, um, looks to be a pretty okay device for the price that it is coming at, which is 4999 And in this price range, it is so difficult to give out a comparison and verdict because there are tons of phones out there that have been made by Spice, Carbon, Lava and all that. But there's one quality phone that can be compared is uh, the Moto E first generation that is now having a price cut and is sold at 4999 but in terms of uh, the branding, the OS and the post service sales, one would easily go for the Moto E. So it, it's up to one's personal choice whether or not uh, you, know, you, you want the 8 megapixel camera and um, the Moto E doesn't come with such a powerful camera there and also uh, the battery and, and different things like that. There's another phone in the form of Infocus M2 that is also another choice that you can consider. So based on your preference, probably you can uh, pick the one that suits you. All right, so that is all we have for the Honor B and a little bit about the comparisons that you can uh, look for. 
Hope you like the video. Do subscribe for uh, more interesting uh, news and reviews that are coming up. Until the next time, this is GK from TechPP.com signing off. Bye bye.